गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज़ वृशाली इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम यूनिट वाइज इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड अ क्वेश्चन बैंक रिलेटेड टू सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट सो दिस वीडियोज विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर एवरी यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट वु लर्न सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट सो लेट सी आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू यू कैन रेफर दिस रॉगर्ट प्रेसमैन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अ प्रैक्टिशनर अप्रोच दिस बुक In this book, everything have mentioned with diagram and with simplest language explanation. So you can refer this book for your exam point of view. Next. So the first unit is introduction to software engineering. So from this question, there are different models have mentioned in this uh, unit. So you need to prepare different models with diagram and with explanation. The first question is elaborated how software engineering is a layered technology. so you need to mention diagram of layered technology with explanation then explain rad model with the help of diagram you need to mention their diagram and explanation point wise or sequence wise now the next most important point is agile model so from uh, on this point examiner uh, will be asked about what is importance of agile methodology or uh, they will ask agile process model or they will ask question number 9 agile manifesto with example so either they will ask any one point from this three questions so you need to prepare complete agile methodology with diagram next in exam they will ask about any one particular model and why this model is accurate in software engineering uh, and this question uh, you need to mention the diagram with explanation and this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks now next one is list and explain practitioner myths and their realities then uh, different activities in software process framework so first you need to list the activities then explain those activities with example now the next one is explain with diagram incremental model and their advantages and disadvantages so first you need to draw the diagram then explanation and then mention their advantages and disadvantages so this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks the next one is most common question that is define terms software and software engineering so you need to mention the definition of software and software engineering and uh, why software does not wear out state this statement true or false so you need to mention their true or false with justification so this question generally asked for 8 6 to 8 marks so generally uh, on the basis of model questions will be asked on basis of first unit the second unit is requirement engineering and analysis so from this unit generally different types of requirement this is one of the most common question the first one is what do you mean by feasibility study in requirement allocation then uh, why requirement allocation uh, and why requirement allocation is difficult you need to mention their problems here then a difference between requirement inception and requirement allocation so you need to mention any four to five difference between this point next one and most important question about srs so srs is most important topic so generally in exam they will ask either need of srs or they will ask characteristics of srs or they will ask structure of srs with example so i am suggesting you you should prepare this complete srs software requirement specification point with example this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks next one what are the requirement engineering task and explain their details then uh, types of functional and non functional requirements so first you need to study what is functional and non functional requirements their types with example next explain any one type of modeling with example you need to list type of modeling then explain any one from that with example and last one is explain following terms kano diagram and rtm so you need to explain those terms with example so from this unit requirement allocation and srs that is software requirement specification and functional and non functional requirement these three are the most important point next one is unit 3 design engineering so from this unit the main and important question is golden rules of user interface design this is one of the most common question so you need to enlist golden rules of user interface design for 6 marks next one is what are the software design quality attributes and guidelines 
you need to uh, mention quality attributes and their guidelines with example then explain user interface design issues then a uh, data flow architecture design style with diagram so you need to prepare a diagram of architecture design architecture with explanation next one is explain guidelines of component level design so you need to uh, mention the components design components with example and uh, there are diagrams also then explain different design concepts and explain any one design model with example so you need to prepare any one design model with example so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks so from this unit golden rules of user interface design this is one of the most important question the next one is unit 4 so unit 4 is a most important unit like project planning management and estimations the more questions will be asked from this unit 4 the first one is how do you calculate fp and how it is used in estimation of project you need to mention their calculations with example then uh, what are the categories of stakeholder and what are the characteristics of effective project manager so first you need to mention what is stakeholder and then uh, categories of stakeholder then you need to mention what is effective project manager and their characteristics point wise next need of project estimation and a step of estimation of pro software so you need to mention all this uh, answer of this question point wise or sequence wise okay this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks the next and most important topic is project scheduling so in your exam they will ask at either what is project scheduling or they will ask basic principles of project scheduling or they will ask task in project scheduling so you need to prepare project scheduling this topic in complete way okay so this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks the next and most important again question is explain the role of people project product and process in project management so at that time you need to mention what is project what is product and what is process and the relationship between that in project management so you need to explain this all roles with example okay for 8 to 9 marks the next one is compare lines of codes and functional point based estimation technique with suitable example so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks explain in detail software process and project matrix so you need to mention what is software what is project matrix their uh, types their task with example again the most important question is explain kokomo model for project estimation with example so you need to draw the diagram of this model and explain those diagram point wise or sequence wise so this question generally asked for 8 marks next explain project decomposition with task so for this question you need to first explain uh, what is exactly project decomposition and list their task and explain those task with example so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks next explain earn value analysis in project scheduling so what is earn value analysis explain those term with example then explain w5h principle in detail so you need to draw the diagram and explain their principles uh, point wise next one compare software measurement and matrix state the measurement principles so you need to mention the difference between software measurement and matrix with example next explain the reason of software project failure so you need to mention uh, any four to five reasons of software project failure with example so with example is a most important point and last one is explain work breakdown structure with example so this uh, you need to draw the breakdown structure diagram and explain those diagram with example so this all question generally asked for 6 8 marks so from this uh, unit every question is important and uh, all the points is necessary you need to prepare all the points from this fourth unit the next one is unit 5 that is software quality and testing so from this unit software testing is one of the most important point you need to prepare what is testing the different types of testing and explanation of types of testing so this is one of the most important point the first question is what is the need of stubs and drivers in software testing you need to mention their needs with example the second most important question what is integration testing and objectives of integration testing so in your exam either they will ask integration testing or they will ask system testing 
or sometimes they will ask about unit testing alpha and beta testing so any two testing any two types of testing they will ask in your exam so you need to prepare according to uh, types of testing then uh, write a short note of defect management then a uh, difference between alpha and beta testing you need to mention any 5 to 6 difference between this alpha and beta testing with example okay so this first four question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks the next and most important question generally asked in exam that is explain defect life cycle in detail so you need to draw the life cycle defect life cycle and explain those life cycle point wise or sequence wise means from start to end of the cycle the next what is software testing and explain testing strategies for software development so you need to mention the definition of software testing and their strategies then what are the debugging tactics and how bug reporting is done then a difference between verification and validation in detail so this is also one of the most important question either they will ask difference between alpha and beta testing or they will ask difference between verification and validation so you need to prepare both two difference for exam point of view so for difference purpose you need to mention any 5 to 6 points related to verification and validation with example next what is difference between testing and debugging this question generally asked for 4 to 6 marks the next one is explain white box testing so either they will ask integration testing or system testing or white box testing so you need to prepare all the testing types with example and last one explain software quality in detail with example so you need to mention all the software qualities their attributes with example so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks so from this unit all testing types then defect life cycle and the differences these three are the most important points next one is unit 6 that is formal methods recent trends in software engineering so from this unit risk management this is one of the most important point okay so explain risk identification and assessment process for software project so you need to explain those terms with example then most important rrm model that is risk mitigation monitoring and management model so you need to mention uh, explain this uh, model with example then explain various risk associated with software project how they are managed so you need to prepare one any real life example for this question so this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks the next and most important question from this unit is scm that is software configuration management so uh, from for this point in exam they will ask either what do you understand by scm and discuss with importance or they will ask scm process with layers or they will ask scm repositories or explain features and tool set supporting scm repositories so they will ask any one question from this four questions okay so you need to prepare complete scm topic from this unit and this is the one of the most important question okay and this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks then uh, explain software reengineering process in detail then explain global software development challenges so you need to list the challenges and after that explain those challenges and last one is explain following tools like csm jira and uh, kanban so you need to explain those tools with example so i am suggesting you from this unit you need to prepare risk management and scm these two are the most important points so hope so that will be helpful for everyone thank you and all the best